in a sick world. And it's very important right now that you have this knowledge. So lay back, make yourself some cauliflower popcorn or a green juice, and get ready for the download. Today I got green juice. I love the green juice. I love green juice for 25 years. Well, maybe like 23. At first I drank carrot, apple, and ginger. My parents bought me a champion juicer back in the day. I want to get rolled on this juicing so that I can help you conserve your time. I do want to go over some things today, and I really want to be a blessing in your life. So this is the cucumber. Cilantro, dill, lemon, celery, and coconut water. And I'll be using coconut water quite a bit because I actually get that for free. I know things are on lockdown right now, and it's a little bit hectic. But I want to encourage you to eat as much fresh food as you can at this time. I always encourage that. Fresh food never goes out of style. It's as old as the hills itself. Canned foods, swans and TV dinners, pop tarts, and hot pockets are a relatively new phenomenon. Which, it would appear that in some ways we have adapted to it. But that would be an illusion. Because you see the continual <coughs> expansion of sickness, disease and ill health surrounding us. Some of us get through fairly well into our 40s, maybe our 50s, if we have a mediocre level of self-care. But you see that it's getting younger and younger ages with chronic disease. In fact, the latest stat that most of us agree on, give or take a few percentages, is that 54% of all American children under the age of 12 have a chronic and degenerative disease. Now, we can most certainly go down the rabbit hole and explain why that is. We're not going to do that today, because we like to keep the heat off of us for the most part. So you have to use your imagination, but I will say this. Not everyone and all entities in society have your best interests at heart. It's probably very likely that very few entities have your interest at heart. That could be individuals, corporations, institutions. Again, that's your incredible imagination. And we've seen that time and time again for those of us who are a little more woke. Now, there are levels to woke, for sure. At one point, you will transcend all of this. But for now, most of us, myself included, just an average Joe, trying to make it through life and be radiantly healthy. The problem is, we got subliminally sidetracked. We've come to a time when we realize that as an advocate for health, that we live in a world that promotes sickness, that actually frowns upon health. And health and healing is whackery, according to some of those entities that we spoke about a minute ago. Those entities don't make any money when you are well. And if you stay radiantly well and become your own healthcare expert, they won't make a damn dime off you. Maybe in an emergency and over the top we go. Emergency medical care, praise the Lord. In America, we're at the forefront. But when it comes to helping people to heal themselves and be well and be radiantly slim, trim, vibrant, tight, active, they ain't got a clue. So we have to take charge. And now, it is even more specifically important that you care for yourself. If you have put it off up to this point, now is the time to grab that little light horns. Now is the time to lose weight. Now is the time to heal up your gut. Now is the time to implement healthy habits. Hopefully, things go back to some semblance of the freedom that we had before, which we did squander, and now we know. Locked inside of our houses. Can't go outside where the health is. Can't congregate. Can't pray. What do I have to think about that? Why are there certain entities in society that don't want you to pray? Because the prayers are for the light. And the prayers raise the frequency in a good way. Raise the frequency in a good way with prayer. Why are the pastors that say, to end with all this, we're going to pray anyways. That's what we need to do. Because it's the prayers, it's the mantras, it's the mind that makes you impervious to anything. The mantras, the prayers, those will make you invincible. Nothing can touch you. Your mind is the powerful medicine that you need. We have been hijacked, and our minds have been weakened by hot pockets and fluoride and mercury. Can you dig it? That's why a crazy guy talking about detox is soaked out of his mind because... You are super, super, duper healthy when you do the fasting, the grain juice, the living foods, and the superfood supplementation, which activates the electrical rate of your being and keeps you radiantly vibrant because the microbes are beneficial. They're diverse. Your immune system is rip roaring a lot. Probiotics, herbal blood, and enzymes, green juices, electricity, minerals. The world argues about protein, fats, and carbs. DPM is on the next level. I want electricity, illumination, and consciousness. I don't care how thin I am. I want to be ripped. I want to get up this morning like I did. Excuse me, don't stop. Time's of the essence. I want to get up this morning at 5 a.m. Have an epic meditation. It really wasn't that great. It was like, not as good as yesterday. But 5 out of 10 for this morning, because the mind, there's some mornings where you are right there, bing, right there on the point, and there's nothing distracting, you're not thinking about, I'm not going to pay my bills, you're not thinking about the end of the world, you're just focused on God. That's what I call it, you fill in the blank, I respect that, and today, God's got a bad rap, like you some dude up in the sky who forgot to take his medication and wants to burn everyone. God is just sitting there waiting for us to call it in, and that's what we have to continue to do if we are going to make it through this, we're going to make it through it, but how much carnage will there be is the question. So... We must continue to pray. We must continue to repeat the mantras. We must continue to program ourselves with divinity, light, love, and truth. We cannot let that die. When it's becoming apparent that the light was growing upon planet Earth, we had these little phones. We were communicating. We were spreading knowledge. We were becoming aware of what's been going on for forever in the consciousness. But most recently, what's been happening in our modern world with medicines, with health care, sick creation, and the suppression of knowledge of life. And when anyone got in the way of the sharing of the knowledge of life, they were taken off the game board, or they were just threatened and controlled and beaten down so much that they had to give up. Some of them stayed with us, you know, as much as they could, but in the end, their facilities, their healing institutes, their knowledge, their case studies, their research was suppressed. We can't have a cure for that, because we make trillions of dollars off of sickness, and if you take these simple, plain, basic remedies, and you self-care, and you avoid all of the synthetic, inimical substances that 
disrupt your biological functions on purpose and intentionally to sicken you. Alright. <clears throat> Alright guys. So right now, what I'm doing right now is a little bit of what I do every day, which is work on my on my uh, my brand, work on my uh, my content, <clears throat> work on um pretty much just working. That's what I'm doing right now. So right now, like I'm I'm writing a script. I keep writing scripts. I'm a writer. I have so many things written, so many things written, and it's getting to a point where like I, like there's only so much I can write just because there's only so much I want to write like you know you know I'm doing this purposely but it's like I'm not an all-around guy no one is all around like that you know what I mean maybe some people but I'm not an all-around guy I'm only writing on certain things that I gotta do for newer and there's only I'm only writing on certain things I gotta do for the <clears throat> um for the care of the youth and you know what I mean it's like like at the end of the day look I'm a normal person you know I ain't nothing special I'm nobody special um I gotta make a living I work minimum wage I gotta pay rent I gotta pay my car gotta pay insurances and all that you know I gotta make a living um you know the, the things I do on YouTube is my um is is my um you know like my work I guess is my work but like at the end of the day um <laughs> like I push newer, right? At the end of the day, like when I live my life, you know, you always live with the newer mentality, but you know, I'm a wanna be mechanic, I'm a wanna be minimum wage worker, I'm a worker. When I go to work, you know I'm just a normal person. Then when I get on YouTube I do newer, I do this, I do that, I gotta make a living. There's only so much I can do. But yeah, I'm writing, I'm writing. Uh stay posted guys and um, I'm structurizing and I'm trying to do the best I can do. I live with my parents, you know, I'm, I'm nothing special, you know. Um, <coughs> you guys, um, you know, support me, you know, support me. And because um, at the end of the day, like, you know, sometimes like, you know, sometimes it's kind of, mm, you know, I'm putting myself out there and stuff. And uh, I've always thought about that. You know what I mean? But I made a conscious choice a couple years ago where I was just going to dive in. And um, I remember, like, when I made that that choice, I made that choice, um, like, in 2017. And I remember, you know, it, it was when I was passing out business cards. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna put, I'm, I'm put all this out there. Subscribe, like, comment, I'm shining new, Carlos, love you guys.